All right, guys, we're back here once again at the bow and arrow shop. Today, we're going to shoot a bow that I've been requesting quite a few times to give a try on the channel. That is the Prime Rev X 34. Haven't shot it. And I know Ernest here who works at the shop, he shoots this bow, really, really likes it. And I know a lot of people really do. So I'm excited to hear about it, hear what the features are that are new for this year, give it a spin, see if I like it, and then give you guys my general feelings after. We're going to run it through the chrono, get the speed, and we'll see how it is. So do the Bruce right there. So let's go try it. We got Ernest in here. He shoots this bow. He shoots the 32 inch version. This is the 34, but I figured what better guy to tell me about it than a guy who shoots it. So Ernest, take it away. Tell us about this bow. All right. So your primes, this is the new Rev X. Prime, they got the that inline cam system. They used to have that cam that had the seven piece string cable and they brought that out because of the uh, stability on it. If you relax that front end, you're not getting torqued with this bow. What they did with these newer cams and made went back to the three piece string cable and they made these cams so if you notice it's almost like a bowl so mm. you got the spokes kind of sitting low you got that string sitting high up on that bowl on the edge so when you draw this back the mods bring that the, the cables back in line with that string so you still achieving the same uh, no torque um, as that split cam. Right, yeah. Exactly. Because the split cam is easier for people to understand because like you understand why it's so stable because you're pulling against two tracks that make it kind of more torsionally stiff. And that you're saying because they have this wheel kind of pressing out and then alternate the Yeah, everything it does the comes same in, thing. everything comes in line. Right. So okay. you're not getting torque either way. Cool. Also they got that center grip. So if you notice this, your grip is in the center of that bow, so you get a little bit more mass down below. Um, then you're than other bows do their grips gonna sit a little lower but uh, with this center grip right here you get a little bit more stability also and also I like it too because it's a repeatable grip I'm, I'm very picky on my grips Me too. I normally really like the Bowtech grips it's easily easy to uh, repeat that uh, that hand placement but I really like the one the grips on the primes too I can achieve that same repeatable spot every time Let's but, take a look at yours and uh, kind of maybe tell us a little bit about how you have it set up. And so this is my baby right here. Um, I'm running a two. I don't like. I, I like running a 33 inch bow, but uh, you know they had the 34 and the 32. I chose to go with that 32 this year. Prime also came out with their new uh, their new quiver that runs back behind. Oh yeah. If you notice this, it comes back behind that riser. Super close in line, huh? Yeah, so yeah it really, really lets you get pretty tight in there. Yeah, that's awesome. And so for me, I, I you know, I really like running that back bar to get that, uh, that good balance. But with this bow, I, I believe because of how they did that, uh, that quiver, I wasn't getting a bunch of lean like I normally do. So I chose not to run a full back bar. I'm just gonna try it and see what happens. But when I come to full draw, just having this little stub here gets me enough weight on this side of the boat to keep it in balance. And then I don't have to, um, you know, hike up a mountain. Yeah, you don't have it. something big and bulky yeah, sticking yeah, way out here. Exactly. Yeah, but you still get the, the weight on the opposite side. Right. And then oh, Prime, awesome. they also went with, uh, I mean, I'm a big Hamski fan on rests. So uh, the new Epsilon Hamski rest, um, Prime teamed up with them. So it fits that boat perfect. Heck yeah, no, the thing looks awesome. But let's give this a try. Um, Ern's gonna pull a double with me. We're both gonna shoot the old uh, the old Prime. 32 and 34. That's crazy, the cam. Like now that you mention it, I see what you're talking about. It's, it is kind of like almost like a little fruit yeah. cup or something. And also like, for tuning, real quick on tuning, they got these little dots right here. So super easy to tune. We can run a string right across these dots from that side to this side of the cam. And as long as that string's in line with your, your string here, then you should be in tune. Interesting, okay, cool. So it's good for us as bow technicians. Smooth, one, they have super hard back wall, not like a complete rock. You can get a little bit of pull through, but it feels good. Nice string angle. Mm. I do like the string angle on like the 34s. Yeah, you know? try this one. Yeah, here, let's do a swap, huh? Yeah, Ern's bow is awesome. He got this custom because they do it at the bow shop where they'll custom make bows um, how you want them to look. This one's got the black riser with these really cool 
uh, kind of like a zebra camo type limb. Really slick looking bow. It is heavy. You got some weight on here, which I like. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It holds pretty well. Oof. There is no vibration on this sucker. So that's something that's interesting because this one, when you shoot it, you know, it just feels like a standard flagship, very little vibration, but there is some, it just goes to show by the time you put a quiver on, stabilizer, some weight to sight, like it really like absorbs and dampens all that possible vibration. So yeah. overall, I'm impressed with both the primes. I mean, nowadays I really look at it like motorcycles or something like, it doesn't matter if you get a Honda, KTM, Husqvarna, like maybe Suzuki, not so much, but like all the bikes are so good nowadays that you really can't go wrong. It's so much a personal feel thing, yeah, you know, yeah. where like this bow is not necessarily better or worse than like a flagship Bowtech, but like I might like the Bowtech better. You might like the right. Prime better. It's just like a person to person yeah. thing, which is why I always suggest coming into the shop and actually trying the bows and seeing what works best for you. Shoot them all, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We can always, I mean, there's times we'll get two people in here, three different bows and they're going to choose different bows most likely. So it's, if you get stuck on one um, brand, one um, one name, just because it's, I don't know, going around and you think that's going to be the best, I still recommend getting out there and shooting the bows, getting them in your hand, seeing how they feel, and start thinking about what you want in a bow. Is it that smooth draw cycle? Is it the speed? Is it uh, stability? You know, you kind of got to pick and choose because some are going to be a little bit better in certain areas than others. That's so true. And another thing like Ernest touched on is he really likes this prime grip, you know, like to me, a grip is one of the most important parts of a bow. It seems so simple, but that's going to be so big with your repeatability, which to me is the biggest factor in accuracy and your shooting is going to be how well you can repeat. So if he can repeat really well on this prime grip and he's the most comfortable with this, then to me, that's a no brainer just based on that one thing. For me, I really like Bowtech and PSC grips because they're square and, you know, just hard metal or plastic, which has always been my favorite. This is a little bit rounded, not bad, it's repeatable, but it's just not my exact taste I like. So again, that's why it's such a personal preference thing. You've yeah. got to come shoot them and they have so much, so many bows in stock here and everyone here is great to work with. So definitely come on in and try them all, see what you like and get this awesome spider jacket right here for 50 bucks yeah, last one on the shelf right here it's an xl that's why i look so small right now <laughs> but <laughs> anyway let's go run it through the chrono and go from there so we're gonna shoot this bow through the chrono now uh get a speed like once again 422 grain arrow this is the arrow i use for everything for hunting elk mule deer doing 3d shoots i never switch arrows so for me this is gonna be a really consistent read on what i would actually get with how I shoot the bow. So here we go. Two eighty-eight on that bow right there. Solid speed. Uh, out of my SR three fifty with the same arrow, we're getting three hundred uh, on the comfort setting. So it's a touch slower than that, but once again. I'm not too worried about speed and it feels really, really good. So we're going to shoot one more just to see and we'll go from there. there you go. Duplicate. Duplicate. So 288 once again. This bow actually does have a longer brace height than the SR350. So you're going to gain a little more forgiveness with that, which is part of the reason we're losing a touch on the speed. Again, I'm not a speed guy. I wouldn't care if it said 270. Anything 270 or higher, I'm happy to shoot uh, for hunting or 3D shoots or what I generally do. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Really like this Rev X 34. Really sweet bow by Prime. And I don't think I'll switch to it, but it's one that I definitely, uh, if you put it in my hand, I would be more than happy to shoot this bow and use it as my daily driver. So head into the bow and arrow shop, give it a try along with some of the other bows here, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.